On the eve of the president's impeachment, the real question Americans should be asking themselves tonight is, why isn't James Comey being held accountable for those 17 massive errors and omissions on behalf of the FBI? You know, on Wall Street, he'd be sent to the slammer for signing off on a fraudulent earnings report. CEOs aren't allowed to pull a James Comey, oops, I didn't know. Why is the government protecting investors? from fraudulent accounting by corporations, but not protecting Americans' privacy rights from an overly aggressive FBI. Good evening, everyone. I am Trish Regan. These are pretty important questions because they showcase the different standards between how we treat heads of corporations versus heads of government agencies. They should be held to similar standards, yet government gets a free pass. In 2001, there was a CEO of a very big energy company, a company you'll recall, called Enron. Enron filed for one of the biggest bankruptcies in history thanks to an accounting sham. The CEO, he tried to wiggle his way out of trouble by saying he was unaware of any fraudulent activity at his company. His name was Jeffrey Skilling. In 2006, Jeffrey Skilling was sentenced to 24 years in federal prison because his subordinates falsified accounting records. Skilling's excuse? He wasn't aware. Watch. I did not believe the company was in financial peril, and I have no knowledge of any, and had no knowledge of any wrongdoing by its employees. Hmm. Sounds familiar? I was wrong. I was overconfident in the procedures that the FBI and Justice had built over 20 years. I thought they were robust enough. It's incredibly hard to get a FISA. There was real sloppiness. 17 things that either should have been in the applications or at least discussed and characterized differently. Yeah, you know, you see on Wall Street, there's a rule. It's called Sarbanes-Oxley, and it's designed to prevent CEOs from allowing their underlings to run rogue operations. CEOs can't hide behind the system or pretend they didn't know what was going on when there are major accounting errors. Because as the head of the company, it is their responsibility to know what is going on. As such, they are now forced to sign off on all quarterly and annual reports, you know, their signature. I want you to see this, somebody else's signature. James Comey's signature, he signed off on that FISA application. Get a good look at that. That is James Comey's name, and that is James Comey's signature. So why didn't James Comey, as head of the FBI, know what the heck was going on in his own organization? And why would anyone allow him to use that as an excuse? I mean, it's a convenient excuse, right, after the fact, to just play dumb? But given that playing dumb on Wall Street is not allowed, why is it being allowed inside the Beltway? Bottom line, what this tells you is that our government is willing to protect investors more than it is willing to protect average citizens. After all, shouldn't the head of the FBI be held to the exact same standard as the head of any other organization, including publicly traded ones? When this is all said and done, once we get to an impeachment trial in the Senate, I suspect Americans will have a very tough time letting James Comey off the hook. Our FBI should be there to protect us, not to infringe on our rights as citizens and then pretend they didn't know any better. Meanwhile, today, the FISA court itself coming out with a rare public statement slamming the FBI for its handling of the application to spy on Trump campaign aide Carter Page.